In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use a subset of all the items you've accumulated in your media room by using a, a feature called tags. What a tag does, it gives you a subset of all the pictures, videos, and music clips that you have in your media room without erasing the ones that you don't want to use at the moment. You can keep them all there but then you can set aside some in a special group by using a tag. Let me show you what I mean. I have several hundred pictures in my media room right now, and it could be a combination of pictures and videos and music, but I use pictures just to make this simple. And so we're going to click on this little right arrow. If I hold the mouse over it, it says display or hide explorer view. So the little blue right arrow in the middle of the screen, I'll click on it. The panel will open. It will give me sef several areas to pick from that are identical to what I find up here. But we're going to focus on this little item here called Add New Tag. It looks like a luggage tag with a plus on it. And if I click on that, I'll add one. I'll just call this one Beach because I'm going to isolate some pictures that you see at the top of the screen from the beach. I'm going to add another tag, and I'm going to call this one Dead Sea, because I have some part of my project, or maybe a completely different project, I want to focus on with items related to the Dead Sea. So how, once I have the tag defined, I'm going to go ahead and drag things into that tagged area. I simply click on the picture and drag it to the label, and you notice the number will change. It said I just added one. I added two and three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I have eight items. When I click on the name of the tag, watch what happens. It just takes those eight items and it isolates those and it makes it easy for me to deal with that part of the screen only. If I click back up on media content, I get to see everything. I'm going to drag down farther in my project here, a little bit farther down here. And here I have uh, pictures of the Dead Sea. I'll take these and I'll drag them down. See if I can do this effectively here. There's one, two, three, and you see how that goes. Four, five, six, seven we'll stop at eight there too for now and then i click here and now i have isolated these items i can change uh the the size i can turn it to medium icons i can click on any of them and see them in the preview window and go back to beach and do the same thing so this gives me an option of taking a subset of the items in my main category. Now again, they haven't been removed or changed from this. I'm going to change the view back to small icons. They haven't been removed from this huge list, uh, but it gives me the opportunity to take them and adjust them. I'll take a piece of music here and put that into the Dead Sea list. And when I click here, that's there as well. So it doesn't matter what kind of content you have. You can take any of it and tag it uh, so that you can use that. That gives you the ability to keep lots of data and information, especially for a large project, in your media room, but not have to sort through every single piece of information when it comes to dragging and dropping items on your timeline. So if I'm starting to build a project and track number one, I can take these and drag them and move them and begin to build that as effectively as I want without sorting through uh, row after row, column after column of pictures or clips or music. So it's a nice feature uh, to organize your data in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.